Oh, hey, didn't see you there. I was just testing this door I made with state machines. You know what, since you're here, why don't I show you how to do it? It's pretty simple. Let's go ahead and make one over here. All right, here we go. We're gonna animate this door to open and close with a button. So first thing you'll need to do is take out your maker pen. To do that, you go to your backpack and hit use. If you favorite it, you can actually holster it behind your neck, but for now we'll just hit use. You're gonna need a gadget, gizmo, rotator, and we're gonna actually flip this upside down. And let's make those wires so we can get to them. That looks flat, that looks flat, great. Next thing you're going to need is a, there we go, other chip. Take the state machine. This is the main controller, we'll go over it in a second. And then you need two states, one for open, one for close. The last thing we're going to need is in props, dynamic, buttons. That'll drop to the floor, but we'll get to it in a second. So the way a state machine works is whatever's in this state for your values, hit configure state, value one, value two, value three, and that will come out here, value one, value two, value three. So when it's in this state, it pushes those numbers out of those pins and same with this one here. So to get the states working, you wire your main state machine to the state and you can see it's white, which means it's on, right? That means that state is on. So if we then wire to this state, now that state is on. You can see it through this transition here. Now to do a loop, you just wire it back to the original one and you can see it's toggling back and forth between the two. So if you leave it like this, your door is just gonna tick, 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 tick. That's not what we want. We actually want it to go to one and stop and then go to the other and stop. Let's first name these. We're gonna name this one open. And then configure on this one. And then the second page, state name. We're gonna call this close. Okay. Now with a button, you've got three pins. You've got when button is pressed, and then while button is pressed, and then when button is released. So we're gonna take when button is pressed and wire it up to this transition in the middle. And you can see it stops. So it's essentially waiting for someone to press the button and it'll allow the transition to continue. So we're going to do it again from the red one to this bottom transition and now it'll just go to open to close. Let's try it. See that? So open, close. Cool, huh? All right. Next thing you need to do is you want your rotator to go somewhere. If you just use these two pins, it'll just spin forever. So we're going to select this with the configure tool and then check this box, move to target, and that gives us an extra pin. That's the go-to target pin. So the next thing you want to do is you're going to wire your red to the red, which will be power. And I'll show you how to get those numbers. So you can see it says on, off, rotation speed, and target angle. So rotation speed is currently set to zero, and so is our target angle. Now to get this going, if you hit configure on open, you'll change these values. So we're going to do value one as one, and that's power. And then for value two, we're gonna go 15. That's how fast it rotates. For value three, we're gonna tell it to go to the 90 degrees. There you go, went to 90 degrees. Now, if we configure close, we're gonna set this to one as well. And then this input here will be negative 15. That makes it go in reverse. And then we're gonna leave it as zero. That means it'll go back to the closed position. So let's hit this button and you can see it happen. Pretty simple, huh? So the next thing we need to do is make it actually rotate that door. So how do we do that? Let's move this uh, rotator to just above the door and you wanna put it uh, where the axle will rotate the door. So we're gonna put it right inside that wall there. Take your wire tool and then wire from the door up to the axle. Now if we test this with our button, 
the door opens. That's great. So let's extend this just a little bit more and we're going to add a sound effect. Oops. Oops. Gadgets. Other chips. Sound effects chip on the first page. Let's change this to whistle up. So you hit configure and go to sounds and go whistle up. Cool. Now we're going to clone this, configure it, and go to whistle down. Now the reason I'm showing you this is to tell you what these pins do on each state. So take your wire tool and point it at the red one. So as it goes into the open state, you can have it push a one. If it's in the state, it'll push a one. And if it's exiting the state, it'll push a one. So what we're gonna do is go from on enter to the sound effect on both of these. So now when you push the button, we should hear a sound as well. Pretty sweet, huh? Really easy to do. So let's put our button by the door. I'm gonna use the don't rotate to flatten this out. over here to the door and then freeze there we go now you open the door and it lets you out all right so that's the basics of doors we used a button and a state machine and some sound effects and now our door opens ta-da all right, using that same state machine, you can do doors that slide open and close. I'll show you one of those in a second. And then I'll show you a cool rotating door that's a cylinder you stand in that rotates it. It's good for PVPs. Okay, so this is the exact same circuits, but we added a button to it, so there's two buttons that open this door. This is also an interesting door because it basically puts the player inside of a cage, so they can't get, you know, shot at at a PVP, or people can't rush through the door at the same time. So let's have a look at that. Push the button. It rotates, and now they can go inside, and now we have a button on the inside. Pretty cool. Alright, this is a space door. These doors open like this. You've seen this on famous and popular TV shows. So all you do is you hit one, and it opens up. So this is using the same circuits that we did together. The difference is, is it uses two pistons up on top and it pushes them apart and then closes them when you return it. That one's pretty easy to do. In the future we'll have a combination lock here, so stay tuned and you'll get to see that as well. All right, that's it for doors. You saw how to make a door with some state machines. You also saw three example doors. So stay tuned on how to rec room and we'll create some more cool stuff together.